welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today I have a Bavarian whiskey on my cask and it's a very, very Bavarian whiskey. How Bavarian? Have a look at this. I can't probably can't really see that very well. It says Bayern München. Yeah, this is actually a cooperation between Schlürs, the whiskey distillers, and Bayern Munich, the football club. Yeah, so what is actually in it? It's uh, yeah, the Slurs from the Bavarian Alps with um, yeah, nice fresh water from the Alps and Bavarian barley. And then we have it uh, yeah, distilled and matured for three years in American first fill white oak and then in six months a finish in um, uh, Weissbier cask. So Weissbier is that famous Bavarian um, yeah, sweet grain beer, Weizen. So it's a, a Weizen beer, it's a, it's a grain beer. And it's, I th I'm not quite sure, I don't think it's made of barley, uh, but of wheat. Um, and yeah, yeah, the, the, the beer that is served at the Oktoberfest, basically. And yeah, so this is for, ah, uh, it has a, it's all black in black, so I can't really show it to you very well, but it's the FC Bayern Munich edition. And I did have a few whiskies already that have been matured in beer casks. They are, they are what they are. So they they usually have a bit of a yeah multi undertone or a bit of a yeah more of a grain tone. This is really really a very dark bottle. Hmm. People in our shop rated this uh, a 3.5 out of 5. Only six people rated it, so it's not like a big thing. And it's it's a rather mild one. You do have a bit of an American oak in there, combined with a bit of a, I would say, hopsy, beery note. But it smells more like a like a northern German beer from my point of view. I did have it already at the Munich Spirits, uh, Finest Spirits, and it was it was a bit rounder when I tried it back then. Maybe here it is a bit colder. So yeah, it does have a bit of a roundness going on. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a banana, very malty, very grainy. So you do realize, okay, it's a single malt plus these beer casts leave their mark on there as well. Mm -hmm. Forty percent ABV, and mm, I remembered it uh, a bit more. Yeah, a bit softer. This one, it still have that beer cask note to it, mm, but it's more. F yeah, it's fresher. It has a little bit of a fresher aftertone. Still a lot of that hops going on, a little bit of a bitterness going on that you have in a beer, and a lot of. It's, it's strange, but a different kind of maltiness. It's more of a mm, caramel maltiness. You know, that mo roasted malts when you, you have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, a little bit of a sweet note going on. But um, the dominant note, I would say, is... Uh, uh, a round maltiness settled with a bit of a uh, hopsy beery note on top. Mm -hmm. So everybody who likes real yeah, strong beer that might be the thing for you. Everybody who is into uh, FC Bayern Munich then yeah that's probably definitely something for you but <laughs> because I know that uh, FC Bayern Munich fans are really fanatic and they really love their, their club so yeah go for it. <laughs> it's the champion's malt yeah.
That was it for my take for the Slears Champions Mold FC Bayern Munich edition. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.